You're never gonna achieve 2024 New Year's resolutions if you're gonna do this. Is New Year resolution a thing or we are just doing it just to fit in? Are you like one of them who takes New Year's resolutions every year and at the end of the year you'll be like, I did not do any of this. Well, don't worry, you're not alone. It's you, it's me and it's a 90% of the crowd. Um, You know what makes the 10%? Well, if you wanna know, you have to become one of them then. What are they doing something differently are they just being very strict to their resolutions or is just their routine always, always, hi my name is shreya and if you're hearing me for the very first time make sure you subscribe to my channel and join the squad this is my take on our resolutions reality or we are just making those every year just to fit in in this video, I'll show you the recap of some of the videos that I shot the whole year, that is in 2023, and make you understand through it. The main purpose for me to make this video is not stopping you from making New Year resolutions, but telling you the expectations and the harsh reality that it follows. Now, some people make resolutions just for the namesake and some act actually make a difference in the following year for me personally talking from experience i did not make any resolution past 2023 and as seen my 2023 was just not the year that i wanted resolution what does it mean and how it has developed um resolutions mean the changes that you want to bring into your life and it has developed through some people doing it and actually working for them. It has actually worked for them. But have they given you any surety that it, it will work for you too? Let me give you guys a story so that you understand it well. I remember when I was like 8 years old, one of my neighbor's daughter whose age was like 20, which is me right now, surprisingly. She was mature enough to educate me about what does the word resolution mean. Me being as a silly child, so this talk was like at the end of the year and she told me resolution are taken at the beginning of every year. So I was like, wow, what a great year to start. It was New Year's and I made my first New Year's resolution, which was studying like 10 hours in a day. A little about me, I was like a nerd and that I meant I loved studying so much. As an 8 year old, it is impossible to study like 10 hours because the mental capacity is low, which made this resolution unrealistic yes this is the thing unrealistic resolutions are a thing now because people are gonna take multiple resolutions and they're not gonna follow the entire year it is a good thing to take resolutions i'm not being against that but taking unrealistic resolutions will just bring your self-confidence down and it will doubt yourself at the end of the year that you didn't complete a couple of tasks which you were supposed to do now let's take an example of gymming imagine you're not a gym type of a person or you don't like to exercise but this one fine day after watching some random influencers video talking about how making gymming their resolution made a difference for them but you know what just stop right there what is working for others will not work for you for that particular influencer they started gymming six months back and made a resolution that they will make a routine for resolution there is like a hidden word called routine resolutions are not something you wake up one day and you decide you want to do a thing only tip to follow if you're going to make new year resolution is to stick to your old routine and make that so better that it makes you best in 2024 let me show you my 2024 realistic resolutions which I have taken this year to follow to make myself better, to make my body better, live well, uh, eat good food. So I'm going to list down five of my new year resolutions. The first resolution is taking care of my mind and body. 2023, I feel I did not take much care for my mind and body. I was just not being consistent with my skincare even while exercising i was just neglecting my body i didn't i do not want to do this in 2024 because i feel you come first you are a priority and you should make yourself feel confident then only people around you will attract to you and they will feel good about you and 
when they're around you if that's make any sense second new resolutions that i have taken is read learn write these three are the basic necessities for a human being <laughs> but to just sum it all read i want to read a book at least 30 minutes before sleeping because watching a series i learned i did this in 2023 watching a series has make my morning so bad like i wake up and i just think about that and it makes me very sick inside so i want to read at like 30 minutes of book before sleeping learn i want to learn new certifications i feel 2023 was a year i did not take my academic to another level as i take every year i did not do um, many of the certifications about my career in my field in the field of marketing i did not i learned about linkedin last year that was like a big thumbs up because i got to network a lot of people in my field so that i feel is a very good chance of um, upgrading your lifestyle the next is uh, write write as many scripts as possible voice overs that you will see in the particular video i have scripted that and i love 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 scripting it feels but scripting also comes with lot of like experiences and it takes back to lot of memories and uh, because you have to write it down you have to pen it down and it takes lot of efforts but i i love the process so i'm going to continue doing this year so if you see more of these videos last video i put was of like loneliness and uh, that was a topic i really wanted to talk about so that was like those these type of videos i want to make in 2024 of course vlogs and daily college videos will come but these are this is the type of content i want to focus more self help is my main agenda for this year the next is con get consistent with youtube um 2023 I made a lot of excuse like I'll be not lying to you guys on camera because I I have never done that and I feel you guys are a part of my family now we have grown so much as a YouTube family past in like 2023 so I have made multiple ample amount of excuses just to not upload a video um that excuses might in wall I have work or I have college I have assignments though I would I could have managed my time but something or the other would pop up and there's this saying that if you keep making excuses excuses will come your way so i kept i kept doing that and my graph like uh the youtube graph the youtube content posting graph i have posted very less to be honest so 2024 i want to focus more on content creation and do the stuff i love doing the fourth resolution that i have taken this year is to start Uh, listening to podcast uh listening to podcast might be feeling boring to some people but for me i've started this year mainly self help podcast um in like if, if you follow me on instagram you might have seen i've posted like spotify links and stuff like that for the podcast i feel listening to songs is a good idea when you're traveling or something i did that the whole 2023 but this year i also want to do something productive while i'm doing some work so if i'm washing my dishes or i'm cooking or something i really want to uh listen to podcast and what other people have to say and it also helps me script down videos because you get an idea you get an experience you get an topic to talk on about uh, to the audience so 2024 is uh, my main agenda is to listen to podcast of course i'm open to more genres but for now self help is one of my genre that i would love to listen the fifth resolution that i have taken is to prioritize my mental health i feel this resolution many of the people should take they should prioritize themselves first they should prioritize their mental health whatever comes in their way they shouldn't attend that um 2023 i feel it's my own experience i have burnt out myself i'm not going to lie i overworked myself um i had mood swing and uh, it has like it has a worst disaster that came along so i don't want to depend my own mood on someone and just because i'm not feeling great like i'm burnt out or i'm tired of something i don't want to put on people like they have done nothing to me so prioritizing my mental health is one of the thing that i want to focus so that i'm going to do that very religiously this year the main agenda is to be calm in each and every situation so 2023 i feel i did overwork myself but this time i'm going to like balance it out of course i'm going to work i'm going to work harder than 2023 but i'm, I'm also going to balance it out with enjoyment after hearing this you will be like very overwhelmed that oh my god she has a new resolutions straight and 
I don't even have at least one in my mind. Don't worry. Life is just like that. You don't have to figure it everything out. I I will follow all of these. I will try. I'm not saying that I will be best at it, but I'm going to try how much ever I can so that I come out of a situation where I know I accomplished some things in some areas of my life. Don't worry if you haven't figured out anything. You can steal some of my resolutions until you have your um resolutions fixed in standard like they are very general anybody can uh, apply them into their life that's it for this video you guys hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel below hit the notification bell we're gonna come with more of these videos in the future if you want to see more of these like self-help videos make sure you comment down below and let me know and if you want to see like college vlog daily productive vlogs comment that also i'll be i'm like open to each and every genre this year as i said i'll see you guys in my new video super soon Bye. All the simple life is the five things I like. I want my champagne all night with you.